Hey guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. You join me today with a Mark IV Focus ST, a car which I don't think I featured on the channel before. This, of course, is not stock. It's running a stage two package, running just shy of 400 horsepower, about 380 to be exact. These things have a lot of potential, and I think gradually things are starting to be developed and released for these cars, so it won't be too long until we see some really, really powerful examples in the UK. But anyway, we are joined today, of course, with the owner, Lawrence. We'll introduce him very shortly, and we'll get him to run through basically what he's done so far, uh, and then we'll go out and experience it. But yeah, this should be a lot of fun. Stage two, 380 brake, Mark IV Focus ST. <laughs> Okay, so we're joined now with Lawrence, the owner of the car. Mate, thank you so much for bringing it down today yeah, to get on the channel. Um, yeah, I don't think I've filmed one of these before. If I have, it was probably a long time ago. Yeah. But this, there's definitely not been loads of them. Um, but it's a stage two car. Tuned by Dream Science. Okay, uh, yeah. the handset so I can switch between the tunes. So I've oh, got nice. four tunes at the moment. Yeah. Um, today we're obviously in the Asbo tune. <laughs> so lots of pops and bangs. <laughs> so air tech uh, intake. Yep. I've uh, got the Airtick intercooler down bottom. Okay. Um, obviously, a Ford favourite. We've got the Velocer intake scoop, which gives it a direct feed straight into there. Oh, yeah. The Ford performance number plates probably give it about another 100 brakes, so <laughs> they're pretty good. <laughs> UK's fastest, there yeah. you go. <laughs> uh, it's a Scorpion downpipe, three inch, mm -hmm. going into a Dorenza uh, three inch straight pipe exhaust all the okay. way out. Yeah. Uh, four and a half inch tips on the back. Mm -hmm. It's got a, obviously a short shifter, a few okay. bits like that, and then yeah. just the visual style of mods that you usually see. Yeah, low line kit, yeah. that kind of thing. But I mean, yeah, 380 brake from stage two is, is not bad at all. Yeah, really. these cars, uh, there's a lot of tuning companies out there, and at the moment, I think they're under-tuned, because uh, mm. you've got like Revo, they're, they're stating 410 brake, mm -hmm. lead performance, he's pumping out some crazy figures. Yeah. And I know Dream Science are releasing a couple more tunes to these cars, so there's gonna be ah, okay. a lot more quicker examples in the UK coming yeah. up, definitely, for sure. Plans for yours? So, as soon as Dream <laughs> Science release the next software, it'll be going hybrid turbo, nice. uh, stage four software, obviously upgraded clutch, yeah, of course. Um, and then that's pretty much it, to be fair. Coilovers and wheels next. I'm sick of seeing them start. <laughs> <laughs> fair play. Yeah. But it gets a lot of use, this car, though, doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, it's obviously a daily driver, like you said. Yeah, doing roughly about 3,000, well, 2,500 to 3,000 miles a month at the moment. Wow. So I keep yeah. on maintenance for it. Yeah, no, that is so but important, isn't it, really? But... Putting a lot of power out, I try and keep it as reliable as possible. That's the main thing. Like, that's this, it. This has been this power now for around about six months. Okay, and yeah. And had an issue, so... Did you, did you run stage one before? Yeah, I ran stage one for a bit. Yeah. Then I took it off um, because I was going to go stage two with Revo and then mm -hmm. I went back with Dream Science again. So stage one Dream Science, yeah. went stock, then went back to Dream Science again. Okay. For me, Dream Science are the best Ford yeah. provider at the moment. Awesome. But of course, yeah, I mean, we're never going to have a Mark IV RS. So this is kind of the, the flagship yeah. Mark IV, really, isn't it? Yeah, it would have been a good car, but... Yeah, yeah, that is true. That is true. But I mean, yeah, they've definitely got potential. Yeah. I think people are now well, realising that and, and kind of investing into it, really. But yeah, no, I'm excited to go out in it, really, because it's something a little bit different for me. Um, so I think, yeah, if that's pretty much everything, we'll, we'll hop in. Let's do it. And go for a spin. <laughs> so we're in Asbo map at the moment, yeah? yeah? It shifts. <laughs> Make some noise. <laughs> Maps, obviously. Uh, well, sorry, first two are for fuel quality. Yeah. Just in case I'm stranded and I need bad fuel so I can get 97 Ron or 95 Ron. Yeah. Uh, and then the last two are 99 Ron maps. Yeah. One's obviously with the pops and bangs which we've yeah, got now. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> pops in it. Yeah. <laughs> Typical four, don't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you said it, not me. <laughs> it's like a little riot. There's not many. <laughs> yeah. It puts the power down really well. It doesn't 
spin much, does it? No. Not at all. <laughs> I don't know, this with a hybrid on it would be so good. Yeah, it'd pull up fucking yeah. nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> Does it really well though? Yeah, this is just in sport mode. Like I'll pop it in track in a sec, and the LSD okay. rarely comes alive while doing ah, that. So, okay. and then I'll so put uh, right. So now that you'll feel the LSD oh. like say pulling it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Those pops are hilarious. <laughs> just a so aspo, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You notice the suspension gets a lot more firm as well. Yeah, it does. Oh yeah, track, like now you can feel the car wobbling over everything. <laughs> yeah. it's, and it's a lot more responsive, like straight away. <laughs> it's a proper fun car, like this, this is the roads for this car. Oh yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, you can feel it going yeah. a little bit proper tries to rip it out of your hands yeah. but it's not like torque steer it's like it's like the LSD is too powerful like when you do a small clinch it pulls you in it's yeah, weird because yeah, yeah. even when you go around roundabouts it does the same thing okay I know, they should have done it. Yeah. Honestly, I'd be an advocate for buying it straight away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the suspension's definitely... <laughs> That's why I've been in no rush to put coilovers on it, because yeah. it, it, for a standard suspension, it handles well, do you know what I mean? Yeah, It doesn't yeah, look yeah. the best, but it does its job. <laughs> it, no, it, I mean, around those corners back there, like yeah. it, there's not that much body roll at no, all. No, there's not. It's, it's really, really stiff from the factory, mm. so, but I'm definitely I'm going to put some coilovers on it. It can yeah. only make it better, can't it? Yeah. <laughs> does this bit flames? Uh, I, I hear it sometimes, and I think it does, but no one's ever seen, I, I never have anyone behind me that much. Some of them sound like flames. Yeah. Is that like thrum? Yeah. <laughs> this car's at home. Yeah, it loves <laughs> these roads. It actually handles really well. <laughs> it's cool because you've got those like vent things yeah. back there. Keeps the wind noise away, but it makes your exhaust sound yeah, good, doesn't it? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Those shifts are cool. I see what you mean. Yeah, constantly fighting the steering wheel. Yeah. <laughs> it does have a lot of potential, though, to be fair, because yeah. at stage two, just shy of 400 brake, it handles it well. Yeah, it does. And, and front wheel drive, too. Yeah, and yeah. some front wheel drive cars at 400 brake. It feels too much for it anyway. Exactly. Third gear is the one. Yeah. <laughs> it is mega fun. Yeah. <laughs> you done the clutch on it so far, is it? No, it's stock, stock clutch yeah, at the yeah. moment, yeah. And brakes? Uh, just EBC, uh, EBC yellow stuff pads, okay. uh, stock discs. Yeah. And to be honest, it stops fine at the moment. Yeah. It's, I am going to upgrade them in the future, but I'm trying to just focus on getting it to where it needs to be first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Power's just there. <laughs> that was a flame then, I think. <laughs> <laughs> you hear some metal, I'm just like, you're, you're sure, are you? Yeah. Such a little go kart. Just pinpoint in it. Just, just drags you in. Yeah, literally, literally. But yeah, mate, thank you so much for, uh, for coming down. Yeah, no problem. That was cool to, oh, <laughs> to experience all of these. Um, but yeah, if you want to learn more about the build, because I think a little birdie tells me there's more to come. Yeah. Uh, we might have to get it back on the channel once that's done. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, then um, yeah, I will leave Lawrence's Instagram link down in the description down below. But that is it from me today. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please make sure you leave a like. 
and make sure to subscribe for all the adventures still to come.